What's up guys, Ugly Shoe here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of John Ramirez's Sigil. We're moving on to map 3, Cages of the Damned. Um, this map is phenomenal. This has actually been my favorite map so far. Uh, the soundtrack is what really makes the map so good, uh, but the gameplay and the way the map is designed is very reminiscent of uh, episode 4, eh, I guess episode 3, of uh, the original Doom. So, um... That's one thing I think people are forgetting about this Watt, is this is meant to be a sequel to Episode 4 of, um, of Doom. And John Romero just did such a fantastic job in doing so. We're going to start with the chain gun. And it may at least start picking off these guys here. There's going to be a couple shotgunners that are going to be the most important. Where are they? Oh, there's one of them. There's two of them. I think that should be all for now. There's going to be a third one in there. We'll probably just want to avoid that khaki demon for now. We'll ignore him. Grab our little bonuses here. And just run all the way around, shoot that, come back around this way. Shoot the shotgun up there. That's what I was afraid of. That khaki demon is going to come out. I mean, having him out here really isn't a big deal. There's a lot of khaki demons in this map. And all we really have is a shotgun, which really isn't a big deal because, as I said in the last map, the shotgun is pretty much the standard weapon of the original Doom. There was no super shotgun. Uh, and I really don't expect John Romero to give us a plasma rifle or BFG this early on, so... Yeah, we'll go ahead and continue here. I think we did everything we need to for now. We need to loop around here, immediately grab that. Upon grabbing the um, rad suit or passing a sector out here, it will open that. We'll come down here. Okay. Okay, I can even decide to pull the Houdini, but we'll finish him off here. This is a great bucket head song, especially to be used here. Let's all backtrack here again. And this will open up this wide open area here. Once again, the threat is that shotgunner up there. I think that's it for hit scanners. There might be one more. I can't exactly recall. I don't have a lot of practice in the in this map because it's not necessarily a difficult map. Um, but yeah. Sorry, my multitasking skills today have been very very poor. Oh, right. That's what's up in that cage. Because it is the Cages of the Damned. We can kill him later. We don't really need to kill him now. But I'd rather not worry about him later. So it seems like they're infighting. I kind of want to just leave them alone. Okay, he's pissed at me now. Huh. Oh, wow. That was a lot of infighting that was done. He's practically good. However, the map is pretty generous with ammo. And if you grab all the secrets, uh, the map is very, very easy. Can't say very easy, but... Oh yeah, if you fall down there, you can get back up with... There's, uh, there's teleporters down below. I hear growling from over there. I don't know where it's from. Which is why that guy can even be able to teleport behind us. Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> okay. I'll go ahead and just move on here. Uh, you know what? We'll sh grab this up here first. I want to take those guys out. I'm not going to grab the red key yet. Instead, what I'm going to do is secret number one is going to be there. If I can make the jump. I've never actually had trouble with that before. Where am I going? Why am I failing this? It's because I just really wanted to listen to the Buckethead soundtrack. So I grabbed the Berserk Pack, but didn't make the jump. Let 
Am I overthinking this or something? There we go. Look at how clean and easy that one was. I don't know why it was so difficult before. But okay, secret number one is going to be here. We're given a Berserk pack. One thing I wish, you know, what I would have changed about this map is I would have given the Berserk pack at the beginning. Uh, just because I like punching out Kaka Demons, so. Shoot that. That will reveal secret, secret number two down here. I'm going to hold off on grabbing that Soul Sphere for obvious reasons. Up here, we can grab the red key. If I'm grabbing the red key, it's gonna open this. What we need to do is we need to start firing at the Baron of Hell right away. Mainly because he just will charge at us. And we don't really have too much room to maneuver in here. So he will kind of just force you back. Three is if you use this back wall, that'll reveal a computer area map. Sort of blow them out here. Not gonna happen. Okay. Um, what we'll do is we'll run around here, reveal that Cacodemon and a Lost Soul. Seems like the Lost Soul may have been awake already. Ooh, fuck! I didn't want to do that. I can't see shit with the fucking Cacodemon corpses. The main reason why I wanted to lure him out, but the way this map is designed, he's not going to. Okay, so we have to kind of do this in a swift motion. We don't want to take too much damage there, so... I knew I was missing a cack demon. Fucking asshole. Oh, it shouldn't have happened. Oh my god. Bastard. I knew there were two Cacodemons out there from the two practice runs that I have at this fucking map. God damn it. Okay. Well, I suppose we should go grab that Soul Sphere. Hopefully we don't take too much damage from the floor. Okay. Oh, the problem is we gotta run through that fucking pool again. Because I don't think there's a quicker way out there. It's alright. Ooh, almost just took two notches of damage there. We'll drop down here. And you can't get back up there, so make sure you do grab everything before coming down here. Grab the rockets, grab the uh, shotgun shells, and yeah, rockets. Shoot that. Come around here for secret number four, which is going to be a rocket launcher. Oh, maybe we can't get back up. Didn't know that. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, why was that guy couldn't even go so fast? Jesus Christ! Oh my god. What a terrible run at this map. I was so confident going into it, too. <laughs> that was Cage of the Damned. Oh my god. I love this map, man. This is such a fun map. I like the smaller maps that don't really consist of a ton of monsters, um, and that just require a little bit of strategy, um, and just have a, just generally, like, uh, I don't know, that one was just very, very appealing. Um, the way the textures were used were really, really good, and the soundtrack, the soundtrack fit the map perfectly. Like I said, the one thing I would have changed about it was probably making that jump a little bit easier, but, <laughs> um, was changing the location of the Berserk pack. I wish they gave it to us at the beginning, so I could have just full Tysoned this map. That would have been really fun. But, um, but no, that was, uh, that was Cage of the Damned. I apologize for the sloppy gameplay, poor commentary, uh, but, um, but yeah, this map is fucking awesome, and I honestly would play it again um, if I really wanted to. But I like the uh, the entertainment aspect of this uh, 
this video. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time at Map 4, Paths of Wretchedness. Oh, more bucket head. Oh, this wad is amazing. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.